Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how you find coordinates on the unit circle. Now remember that a unit circle <clears throat> is a circle that has a radius of 1, right? So it goes all the way out to here. So the coordinate here would be 1, 0. 1 along the x, 0 along the y. So let's just go ahead and mark that 1, 0. And because, again, it is a unit circle, that means all the way up here, that's also a radius of 1. So the coordinate there would be 0, positive 1. Let's write that up there. The coordinate over here then would be negative 1, 0. And the coordinate down here would be 0, negative 1. All right, so let's just put all those in there. Now, for the unit circle, <clears throat> remember we also talked about if you were to take this radius and made it like a wet spaghetti noodle or something like that, you could wrap that radius around the outside of your circle, and the first one would go right about to there, the second one would go right about to there, the third one would go right about to there, and remember we said that this last little part would be the point one four, which we all recognize as the number pi, right? So we said you can also indicate these individual coordinates as some kind of a unit of pi, okay? So if, if, it, if negative one zero is exactly 3.14 of those radiuses, or radians, we can call negative 1, 0, we could call that pi. If we continued, so all the whole half part of the circle would be pi, the whole half bottom part of the circle is also a distance of pi, so we could call 1, 0, either 0 or 2 pi. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that up there as well. Now there's some other numbers along the way that we wanted to talk about. So let's just concentrate on the top part of our circle. If we're going from 0 to pi, let's just go halfway. Okay, so at 0 positive 1, we could say that that coordinate is pi over 2, or just half pi. All right? Makes sense? And if we did, if that's half a pi, so if a quarter of a circle is half pi, this would be two halves, full pi. Three halves, that would be three over two pi. And then finally, four halves would be two pi. There's some other coordinates along the way, or some other points along the way that we are going to talk about in this circle, and that's kind of find the coordinates here, here, and here. So remember, well, actually, let's just continue to talk about that. So if I were to take half a pi, okay, a quarter of my circle, and I were to cut it exactly in half, right to there, that would be a quarter of pi, because that would be there, and that, those two parts would be equal. So this would be pi over 4, right? Well, if I kept on doing that, and this could cut this part in half, right? So it would be 1 quarter, 2 quarters, 3 quarters. So this point right here would be 3 fourths pi, or 3 pi over 4. That would be 4 fourths, or 1 whole pi. Over here would be 5 fourths pi, or 5 pi over 4. This would be 6 fourths, and then right here would be 7 fourths pi, or 7 pi over 4. Okay, so we're just starting to call these individual points by their radian number. Now, instead of dividing it into fourths, let's divide it into sixths. 
and I'll show you why here in just a second. So let's take this whole top half of a, you know, which is a pi, and let's divide it into six equal parts. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what do we know about the half of a pi or half of a circle? Well, we know that it's a straight line down here and it's 180 degrees. So if we were to divide this into six equal parts, each of these sixths would be 30 degrees. So this would be at 30 degrees. This would be at 60 degrees. That would be at 90. That would be at 120, 150, and finally 180, right? Just remember that. But one-sixth of a pi would be pi over six, or one-sixth pi, right? Here, we did two-sixths pi. Two over six reduces to what? Pi over one-third, doesn't it? Or one-third pi. So we're going to say pi over three. That's my three over six, or half pi, so that's... We're going to leave that alone. This would be 4 over 6 pi, and that reduces to 2 pi over 3. That another 6. That would be 5 over 6 pi, and that just doesn't reduce at all, so it becomes 5 sixths pi. 6 over 6 is 1 whole pi. Let's keep on going. 7 over 6. 7 pi over 6, down here another 6, 8 over 6 is 4 over 3, so that would be 4 pi over 3, when I say 7 over 6, so that would be 8 over 6, that's 3 over 2, uh, 7 over 6, uh, 8 over 6, this would be 9 over 6 pi, and that reduces to what? Um, did I do that right? Oh, this would be 9 over 6 pi, so that's 3 over 2. Uh, this would be 10 over 6. That would be 5 over 4, or 5 over 3. Let me make sure I got that right. 7 over 6, 8 over 6, 9 over 6, 10 over 6, so 10 over 6 is actually 5 over 3. Here we go. 10 over 6, 11 over 6. Here we go. And then 12 over 6 is just 2 pi. So those would be the radian measurements for my unit circle. But that's not what this video actually is going to do. And I know we're a long ways in. We're actually going to find the coordinates in terms of actual numbers, like 1, 0, et cetera, et cetera. But this is what I want you to notice as well. We said that if we divide them into 6, this is a 30-degree angle, isn't it? So if we did that and were to draw a straight line straight down, we would now have a 30 60, 90 degree triangle, all right? Now I want you to notice that in a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle, we already know the formula for a 30, 60, 90. Let me just break it out over here real quick. Okay. For 30, 60, 90, so this would be that, this would be that. Hypotenuse is there. We know that this side, the short side, we'll just call that A. We know that the hypotenuse is 2A. Remember our formula from a different video. And we know that this side would be A radical 3. Okay? Now I want you to notice something else. This side is just your distance along the X axis. That would be the coordinate for the x. This side would be the coordinate 
along the y. So we can actually write this as some kind of a coordinate depending on how we could figure these out. Now we know something. We know that 2a, the hypotenuse, is just 1. That's why again we call it a unit circle. So let's go over here and we'll say 2a is equal to 1, which means that a is equal to 1 half. Okay, now let's go ahead again and write out our coordinates. If a is 1 half, that would be our y value, that means that down here will be 1 half pi over 3, or just pi over 3. So our x value, did I say pi over 3? I'm sorry. It'd be radical 3 over 2. So 1 half radical 3 over 2. So my x coordinate, radical 3 over 2. The y part, we already determined was 1 over 2. So here's our coordinate for the first radian in this unit circle. Three, uh, radical 3 over 2, and then 1 over 2. We're going to do one more, because I don't want this video to get too long. And we're going to do the same thing for our pi over 4, where we divided things into fours. So let's do that. Now, let me erase these other things just so I don't make it look too confusing. If we went halfway between here, pi over 4, that would be a 45 degree angle. And we'll just make sure we know why. We know that from here to here is a 90 degree, and if we cut it exactly in half, we got a 45 degree triangle, or 45 degree angle, which makes this whole triangle a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, right? So let me just break that out over here. And let's remember the formula for 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. This side was A. This side was A. And this side is A radical 2. Remember that? Again, we know that the hypotenuse was 1. So A radical 2 is equal to 1 at this coordinate. Let's solve for the a, so we know what the x value is going to be. We'll divide both sides by radical 2. Remember, we don't want the denominator to be a uh, radical, so we're going to multiply by radical 2 over radical 2. That's going to give me 1 radical 2 over radical 4. We're just going to clean that up to be radical 2 over 2. It's going to be my a value. So this distance here in the 45, 45, 90, the x along the x, we said it's going to be a radical 2, or excuse me, radical 2 over 2, sorry. But so is the y value because it's the same thing, A and A. Okay, now notice I just did those two here. You can do the same thing for every single triangle after that. And I'm going to leave that for you to try to find those other coordinates. Let me just get you started. We're going to erase that part there. 
Okay. Remember to start it there, just like you'll start at all these other ones. You're going to drop a straight line down. And again, you'll have a, and remember this is 60 degrees, so this will be a 60 degree triangle. 30, 60, 90. And I want you to find the coordinate where pi is over 3 using the same information that we did over here. All right, I hope that was helpful to you.